Based on the almost unbelievably true story that was declassified in 1997, this dramatic thriller from director Ben Affleck was released on October 12, 2012, eventually grossing over four times its $45 million budget. Affleck himself stars as a CIA exfiltration specialist who devises an outlandish plan to save six Americans trapped in Iran during the height of the 1979 hostage crisis. Teaming up with veterans from Hollywood, the CIA builds an elaborate rescue mission cover story around a fake science fiction film, with one character remarking, this is the best bad idea we have. Although the clear frontrunner for the Best Picture trophy, this 120 minute period film did curiously not score Affleck a Best Director nomination. Which is unfortunate, since his directorial contributions are the clear highlight of this picture. His performance in front of the camera is far from awful, but it's nothing particularly remarkable either. The same can sadly be said about the rest of the all-star cast. Brian Cranston, Alan Arkin, John Goodman, Victor Garber, and a slew of other familiar faces all do a good job, but are never memorable. Built upon a fascinating and important real-life story, clever use of 70s classic rock staples are intermixed with truly intense moments of suspense and near terror, as the lives of these characters hangs in the balance around every turn. Where were you born? Halifax, Nova Scotia. Which date of birth? February 21st, 1952. Good. What's your job on the movie? Producer. Associate producer. What was the last movie you produced? Uh, high, high and Dry. Who paid for that? CFDC. What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Le What's your middle name? Leon? Shoot him. He's an American spy. Look, they're gonna try to break you, okay? By trying to get you agitated. You have to know your resume back to front. You really believe your little story is gonna make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. The R-rated drama really excels during a cross-edited sequence that combines a live script read of the fake film with the demands from the Iranian kidnappers. The visuals are sharp, the costumes authentic, the pacing is brisk and exciting, and the writing is funny and intelligent. But more attention is paid to politics and historical accuracy, leaving the characters woefully underdeveloped, reducing them to nothing more than gears and a machine that tells a familiar and predictable tale of selfless rescue. It's no surprise that audiences and critics fell in love with Argo. It is an impeccably crafted motion picture about an interesting and engaging topic, with great moments of entertainment showcased by popular actors. But it rarely impresses, or does anything truly original. Lacking any strong emotional tones, messages, or morals, the straightforward picture feels more like a simple popcorn flick masquerading as art that requires nothing of the viewer. Certainly a well-made adventure that provides for fleeting thrills and excitement, it just isn't much more than that. Argo, cursory suspense that lacks emotion. Now that you've heard from me, let's go to the YouTube comments to read some of your reviews. Our scores for Argo, a 9 and a 7. You enjoy this film and were most favorable to Affleck's directing and the suspense. You thought it was awesome. There's no doubt this is an expertly made and entertaining motion picture, but many elements were missing for me to call this a truly great film, so I had to rank it a cool. 